uh, thanks for joining me for another Somerset Rear Ale review. Um, I've got here <coughs> from the Cotswold Spring Brewing Company. Um, it's their Codger. <laughs> Quality name. Um, old Codger light, I think it is, or something like that. I don't know. Um, it's uh, cantankerously crisp and chestnutty with a subtle hoppy finish. Um, I don't know why I just read that because I don't like to read the taste notes normally, but it says it right on the front there. So I'll let you have a look at it. Sounds fantastic anyway. They've recently redesigned their bottles that has got the QR code and everything on there. Um, and um, I think they've done a great job. I think they're really sort of eye catching there. Um, another one I got from Fred westcountryales.co.uk check them out well worth um, well worth looking online or if you can even better if you can get the Shadow Gorge to their shop and uh, well worth looking at oh, I've got to say brown 500ml bottle um, nice smoky opening 4.2% ABV let's get it in the glass Wee, it's nice whoa it's bottle conditioned this by the way so Getting a great head on here. I love a head on a beer. Four finger head is a little bit too much for anyone, but hey, this is how it goes in these uh, in my reviews. You know, I, I never cut a video, and whatever happens, happens. So, oh, it smells fantastic. Isn't it? So, I've got to do the sort of copper in colour. Um, sort of like like a carbonation streaming from the bottom. The glass is clean, it's slightly cloudy, but I love, um, I, I don't love a, a clear, well, I don't mind if it's a clear beer, but I, I, I like a cloudy beer. I don't think there's a problem with, with not using finings in a beer or, um, you know, or, or having it slightly cloudy. It's, it's nothing wrong with that at all. It's how a beer should be, it's how it's supposed to be, you know, it was in the olden days. Anyway, so copper in colour, three finger sort of tanny sort of colour head made up of loads of different size bubbles looks like an ice cream almost like a 99 um i'm getting like lovely nutty lovely nutty flavour it smells like a um like a best bit or a strong bitter maybe special bitter sorry can't really get a lot out of the bottle oh don't i that is like um Nutty, raisiny. It's almost like you know. Um, I don't know. In in Great Britain, we have uh, Cabbage Dairy Milk, um, fruit and nut. Sorry, the fruit and nut. It smells like a fruit and nut bar without the chocolate. If you know what I mean. You get a lovely, sort of fresh. Yeah. It's, it is because it you've got a nice little bit of sweetness from the malt there, and it's even got a nuttiness, and you've got sort of a raisin quality as well. It is just like that. Fruit and nut bar without the chocolate. <laughs> you get a nice. I, I can also get a bit of. Um, I think there is some sort of zestiness in there, um, which. Very slight bit of hoppage, but I can't I can't pinpoint what it is. I would a beast lying if I could tell you what it was, but slight zestiness. But anyway, that smells really good. I really want to get into that. Uh, I'll probably have a bit of a white moustache when I um, when I come back up. But uh, fair play anyway. Right, cheers. Oh, oh wow! <laughs> the first thing I notice about this beer is really bitter. I like a bitter, um, so you know it's fine for me. But it is really bitter. God, that. Is almost like sucking. I won't go so far as on a lemon, but a really sharp orange. Um, not the not the taste, but 
the the bitterness the bitterness if you were to just you know bite a bite into a really sharp orange You can feel these large car bubbles of carbonation forcing the, 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 the really bitter hopness into your tongue. And then it's, it's got quite a smooth mouth feel after that, after the initial bitterness has died off. And you've got, um, it's sort of blended down to that sort of nice, rich, rough, nutty, um, you're not really getting the raisins on the taste. get the rest in there. I'm going to chuck the conditioning in with it as well if it'll fit. I like the conditioning on a beer, I don't think it's going to fit. I don't think we're going to get much more in there. This is a really lively beer. Really lively. Sorry, you can't really see what you're doing there. What I'm doing there. Look at that, I mean that is just full on. <laughs> Look at the head on there, that is great. Bottle condition for a better flavour naturally. <clears throat> Crafted by our artisan brewers with natural Cotswold spring water, the finest malt, hops bursting with flavour and our own brewer's yeast. Our bottle condition beers continue to develop in the bottle for a fuller flavour. This natural process leaves behind a yeast sediment that, if disturbed, needs to be left to settle before serving. For a clear glass, store the bottle upright, then pour gently, making sure a small amount of beer is left in the bottle. See, I don't bother with that. I, I like to pour it all in. I, I like the sediment, um, although I have... You're probably not going to get it, but I have left it in this bottle. Um, I wish I'd swirled it round and poured it in, actually, but... Too late now. Um, brewed purely with character. Really is a wonderful natural product made with four simple ingredients, malt, hops, yeast and water. Um, natural water, natural brew. I don't want to read all that because it just takes, it's not really a description of the beer. Um, www.springbrewing.co Weird. That's a weird email address, or website, sorry. But that's it anyway. Springbrewing.co. Not even a UK on there. Um, yeah, I mean, there's the bottle anyway. Like I say, you've, you've, you've seen that at the start of the video. Seems to have got a little bit milder now. Still got a great um, bitter kick to it though. Um, yeah, I mean that's, it's got a nice woody aftertaste to it as well. I've got a nice bit of woodiness on there. This is a really complex bitter that, really is complex. Don't think I could session it. Um, I think it's a little bit too bitter to session. Um, I think you'd, you'd be sort of, you know, you'd be puckering up if you sort of drank too many of those. Pardon me. And it is really carbonated as well. But it's a good bit. I'd love to try it on cask as well. Right, I'm going to shoot on because it's gone up to nine minutes now. Um, I'm going to give that, that's going to get a six and a half out of ten. Good beer. We're, we're really worth trying that. Thanks ever so much for watching, really do appreciate you watching. Um, love to see your comments in the comments box and I always uh, reply to your comments and um, I'll catch you on the next review. Cheers.